to my house again. Today we'll learn how to say where things are. Just have a look at this living room. I can see a chest of drawers, a sofa, a side table and two vases. I can also see three frogs. Can you see them? One, two and three. Well, now let's consider only this part. Imagine I'm looking for the red frog. In that case, I would say, where is the red frog? And the answer would be, it is in the drawer. Where is the red frog? It is in the drawer. Let's see these examples. The pencils are in the pencil box and the cat in the box. Well, now let's see only this part of the picture. What can you see? I can see a frog, a vase, a picture and the side table. But imagine I want to know where the frog is. In that case I would say, where is the fuchsia frog? Where is the fuchsia frog? And the answer would be, it is on the side table. Can you repeat with me? Where is the fuchsia frog? It is on the side table. Well, let's see some examples. Let's take picture number one. Where is the black cat? The cat is on the tree. Where is the cactus? The cactus is on the table. And finally, let's focus on this part. Can you see the blue frog? Okay. So, where is the blue frog? It is under the sofa. Can you repeat with me? Where is the blue frog? It is under the sofa. Here are some examples. The dog is under the table and the school bag is under the chair. Great! Well, now let's practice. This is a bedroom and there are lots of objects, but now I would like to know one thing. Where is the computer? Where is the computer? Yes, the computer is on the table. Very good. Uh, now, where is the light blue t-shirt? Where is the t-shirt? Yes, the t-shirt is in the drawer. Now, let's try this one. Where is the green box? Where is the green box? Yes, the box is under the table. The box is under the table. Very good. Today we've learned how to say where things are. We'll continue on another video. See you next class.